sing to the Lord. Let us shout joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joy to him with songs. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent. Yeah. 
portion of that which we have given unto us. We give it not just to be blessed, but to be a blessing. Bless your name. It's in Jesus' name. I pray.
they create sick. Registration for this is $50 per church, $15 per participant. The deadline for registration is Thursday, May 15th. Registration for Bible Bowl and other events will be Friday, June 6th, 2014 at 3 p.m. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Seek and follow Amazon Church is excited to be hosting their spring revival at Mount Zion Chapel, Amazon Church, where Reverend Dr. Fred G. Rogers is pastor. This year we will have five super siblings, preachers, born and raised in Quintal County, Wetumpka, Alabama. Come expecting a blessing and bring your praise with you. The theme is preaching, praying, and praying through the Word of God. This is going to take place April the 7th through the 11th, 2014, and will take place each night at 7 o'clock p.m. And our pastor, the Reverend Robert Schuster, is on, and both chapters are on, on, on April the 8th, on Tuesday, and it starts at 7 p.m. Do we have any guests with us here today? We are more than happy to have Reverend Schuster's daughter with us. She's not considered a guest, she's just one of the family. We are glad to have you here. If you'd like to stand, say something you can at this time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to be here. God bless you. Thank 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 you. We have one birthday this evening, and that's Miss Darlene Knight, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we like to wish her a very happy birthday and a bit more. This is Thank you. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm saying that I made a little out of order, but I had two young men who are competing in the Greenville High School track. And they will be competing on Thursday, Saturday, April 3rd, 3rd, and campus towards the university. And they would love if you all come out and support them. And I see a lot of the Taiki McPherson and Rico Shamper both will be running the 444 relays on that day. So please, if you can, try to make sure it's only about 45 minutes. Thank you. 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 But we experienced on Tuesday, we had a day of service, and it just went wonderful. But I'm going to tell them that they need to get an education because the painting was not their color. But, you know, it's okay. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. It just, it, it, it just put on a new atmosphere over at the house. And so I want to thank you all for what you do. And we have another day of service that's coming up. It's in my spirit. And it's called, uh, on Good Friday, it's called, it is a super day. And we're going to serve soup right up here on the front of our uh, church. And we are asking that the adults please provide us with some soup so we could make us some soup. Please contact me and let me know that you will. We just don't have a, it is a super day. Good Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Duane for that. Um, I, didn't, I came over to your house that day and I didn't get a chance to serve you, but it was a wonderful, it was just a wonderful atmosphere to see the church family there. It was just great. This is what we are called to do, to serve. And when we serve with joy, 
I fall in hell with you, please. Amen. It is just a wonderful day. Go a quick. Thank you for that. I have to have an announcement. I guess I'm going to hear when he announced the, um, the amount that was raised. It was $10,659.50. Yeah, and we're still coming in. But I want to thank everyone for your uh, announcement. Mm -hmm. um, we just ask you to keep your mind focused on Jesus and get ready this morning to receive a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 The choir will give us a selection after the selection <coughs> scripture reading. Then we'll have prayer.
Pray for those that despite 
chocolate you possess. Bosnia has its hand on all of us too. So let us come today and pray and believe. God will do what we ask him to do. The scriptures teach us pray without ceasing. Luke 18 tells man should always pray and not pray. Meaning all of us should always pray. Time to time in the day. Even in the evening or at night. We should pray. Pray and believe. Have faith. What we ask is God for. So when all this open this morning. All those that will and can come with all. I also see that it looks like today is the day to hear about the vacation. But this is still the day that the Lord has made. And we ought to rejoice and be glad. We ought to be glad that we have him. Fifth Sunday. Realize that fifth Sunday just is important. Amen. 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 It's good to be here. Amen. And just then, if the Lord takes a vacation on us, we say all that, you know, we don't need the Lord to just go full Sunday to come. Lord have mercy. But we are treating the fifth Sunday just like we treated the first Sunday. And to be here today is a holy day. We don't have time to live no other kind of way, but now that I'm on the Lord's side, every day, a holy day, we are going to give God our best every day we have breath in our body. He has blessed us. We ought to be able to bless somebody else. Not only that, but we ought to just be able to give Him praise just for who He is, what He has done for us. Many times we said the Lord has brought us from a mighty, mighty speaking at a lot of times to death. Most folks that say that can't care what the Lord has done. And I'm glad to be able to talk on this Sunday. My first church they didn't have, they didn't have Sunday, they didn't have worship on the this They wouldn't be going out to the seven sheep. I was with it. I want to go somewhere. But the word of God will be preached. Amen. So let us hear. Let us hear. The name is on the prowess of the day. We remember Miss Chambray, missing her by uh, her man. By her own time, she had no surgery on her throat, and she's recovering. My brother Bobby Campbell, pray for his recovery. Mr. Rebecca Payne, pray for her recovery. Miss Paxi Payne, pray for her sickness. Mr. Bobby Campbell, pray for her sickness. The family of the lady brother Oscar, pray for her recovery. The family of the lady brother Oscar, took the phone past the street back to church, pray for his family. Um, the other day. We pray for the niece and nephew of uh, Reverend Derek Thomas, uh, on the, the family that there that three months later on yesterday. He's a high priority. I said, Derek, Reverend Derek Thomas, 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 Reverend Derek Thomas,
Give thou the cross thy hand to me. Who will shine? God, we give you thanks today that we still have no hands upon us. And not only that, but we realize, God, that you have the whole world in your hand. God bless you. We thank you, God, for, for bringing us through seeing an unseen man. God realizes that we are here because of you, not because of how good we are or what we have done. Because if it had not been for you on our side, God, where would we be? God, I pray, Lord, Lord, for, for this congregation. Pray, Lord, God, for the ones that still believe that you are still the God that that swung the stars and the socket and the moon and the, the sun of even from this world. You are still the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. God, that we still see that you and know that you are still our Holy God. God, we just cannot afford to just offer you anything and expect for you to accept it. But God, I pray all of us will realize, God, that maybe we want to ourselves and get nothing more than filthy rags. God, I thank you today that you reach way down and pick me up and clean me up. God, I'm not a fool of a filthy rag, but one that has been washed in the blood of the Lamb. God, I give you thanks for today. Bless us, Lord God. God, that let us know that we are our power on how we treat one another. God, because you said in your word, when we least treat just the least of them, even so we have done it unto you. God, change it. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Let us understand God and not our way, but it's your way. Your will will be done in earth as it is in heaven. God, I bless your name today. Pray, Lord God, for those that are your God. And even the ones that have lost loved ones, God. I pray, God, that everything still will be way up. God, I pray, Lord God, for my freedom. God, I know that you know all about giving way up, but God, lay your healing hands on God, don't let them give up. But God, just allow you to have your way with him. God, I pray the same without. Paul, you don't even realize what you really want to do, God. But if we just give up and give in, God, and let you in, say you will have no way. Say you will come in and suck the guts and, and be with you. In other words, you say, you'll make our child, you'll bring them to an end. God, we thank you today. Pray, Lord God, leave your spirit good for all of us. Because we understand that it is the good. That the scale of the cow that washed our sins away. God, we bless your name today. And that same good. Those 
revolutionary that travel all over the country. And even coming back to Alabama, we fear police from traveling blood over there. And that you will protect them. They would arrive at their destination safely. Now, Lord, we pray right now that same spirit, and that same love.
holiness. Every believer, I said, every believer, every born again believer, ought to have a new song. And I'm not just talking about just one day, but every day there ought to be a new song. That we can sing unto the Lord. Many times we think we cannot sing because we do not have the talent, but God said, Love, that we can just sing a new song unto Him to give Him praise. We ought to sing to Him. Even when we are having a little difficult time in our lives, we ought to sing a new song unto Him. Other than Lord have mercy. But a song of talk, a song that, that picks up our spirit, and every now and then we ought to get caught up in the beauty of holiness that we can praise Him. Many times we can't praise Him if you are not holy. Holiness is a unique quality of his divinity of, of divine presence of God as holiness. And when we are holy, it simply means that we are set apart from sin, set apart for the work of God. When we come in the this place, this is the sanctuary of God. They call it a Jesus said, My house would be called a house of prayer, but in the sanctuary, in this building, but in the sanctuary of your heart, there should be a new song of prayer. You should be able to do it in the beauty. We, we learn these little cliches when the praise is going to serve. The blessing come down. And many times people say it, I don't even know, but believe that they understand what praise means. How you gonna praise God with a, with a tight lip? Lord, have mercy. God, my name, when I cross the 
in the pool of Zoran. And then the man came back praising God in the beauty of holiness. And then he asked the man, said, well, who healed you? Must you not die from birth? And he said, yeah, I love that. This truth, Jesus. Not in my eye. Yeah. He told me to just go wash in the pool of Zoran. This is all I can do now is just praise. The glory of God, great glory, God turned Jesus come by. The way of it's a man. And the woman that was there did not know the glory of God. And also, Jesus just asked us for a little break and walk. And he said, it's you. Uh, 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 in other words, if the Lord had just standing right before you, you would ask me for a drink. And she said, but God, but sir, you don't have anything to talk about. Great Lord. <laughs> but Jesus said, the water that I give you, you will thank now. God. Great glory, we ought to praise him. And she praised him. In the beauty of holiness. Because she ran to the village and said, Come see a man. And have told me everything that I've ever done. Can't nobody do that. But no. This song is. The song is a call to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And he started by saying, sing a new song. So in other words, God has done something for you. If you have a new truth, sing something with great glory in your praise. You are the good of him. Pray. Praise him. In the beauty of holiness. Oh, yeah. We can only praise him. We can only praise him in the beauty of holiness. Yeah. Can't praise him no other way. Yeah. Hmm? You can't praise him. Make it something new. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Talk to God. Tell him to remove it. Right now. But we ought to praise him in the beauty of our holiness. Because he is the great God. That's what the psalmist said. We ought to praise him because he is the great God. He said, they said, I we try all the other items. And there's no God greater than him. Oh, we gave the heaven and the earth. Many times we cannot praise him because of our little other goals. We can't praise him in the beauty of holiness because of our other little goals. Many of us have a lot of little goals. And you know, the little God is fairly the small. But the big God is you capitalize the big G. But we learn how to let the big G get the, the little G's and then we can praise him in the beauty of holiness. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Them little dogs. It could be your house. 
It could be your car. Right. It could be your hood. Right. It could be your wife. Right. It could be your conscious. But if any of those can take you out of praising God, the true living God, y'all are getting ready to draw that again. That I can praise you in the beauty of holiness. And another thing about like him being a great God, even all your little gods are still suffering to God. Because Psalm 24 and 1 says, The earth and the Lord and the fullness that are everything that we have never do. So even your little God, the liturgy, is over still over the liturgy, but do not let the liturgy control you. Let the liturgy control you. And then you can praise him in the beauty of holiness. God is a great God. And he demonstrated that to Egypt, to Israel, he delivered him from Egypt. And many times God has delivered us from our Egypt, and we still have not learned how to sing a new song. Many times instead of singing a new song, we want to sing an old song, but we want to roll back where we come from. Interesting. Because it gets a little tough sometimes for us. And the way I understand a backslide. It's real simple. You never let God intended for you to be. In other words, you didn't put forth the effort to continue on. You just thought you'd just go back and eat. But God is saying to us today, if you just continue to fall, he'll put a new song. That you can, you can praise him in the beauty of holiness. His great glory, his great glory, he allowed Saul when he built the temple unto the Lord. The dedication, when they dedicated the temple unto God, and God had, had told Solomon, I do not dwell in the building. But Solomon said, God, said, I know you dwell in the heaven and all. And I want your presence in this place. And when they dedicated the building, they said, The Lord filled the temple that was so heavy with his glory. Lord, I'm waiting on the glory. Yeah. The glory of God. When the people of God came on one accord, that the glory of God can feel. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know. Because I know that God is great. And he's greatly to be praying. Father, 
God hates him for the sunshine.
Now here, one other thing about the giving that you find in Matthew 5, 23. But when we give, he said, bring it on for us. But he said also, and he said, give us tithes and offerings. But he said, every time we come to bless you, you ought to have an offering. I'm going to go there without an offering. And I'm going to give it. If I get that later, I'm still going to give my offering. But, right, but Matthew said that, that here's one thing that, 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 that really hurt the old blessing. When the Lord tells us to give, he bring it off. And he will receive it. But Matthew says, though, Matthew 5, I think 22, 23, he said, but if you bring your offer to the altar, and you realize that you have an offer that your brother says, he said, just lay it down right now and try to offer to God because he's not going to receive it. Hmm? He said, lay it down and go reconcile what you know. Men of you can't get blessed because you come up here giving and you hate them for it. And God ain't going to bless you. That's the kiss of the But he said, but when you learn how to forgive, and then he said, when you forgive them, he'll put a new song in your heart. And you can come up here and give, not expecting it to take in return, and God bless you. And then I'll put a new song in your heart. You can't even give in the beauty of holiness with malice, jealousy, envy, and strife in your heart. That was the words of Matthew 5, 23, 24, if you can read it for this. But God wants us, he said, the psalmist said, bring it all to God. He said, then get it free. Now folks say, Lord have mercy. All of them is talking about money. I hear that all. But when I look at the word, the God said we all need. And we all get free. We all get tired to nothing. And here's one thing that I had to get to grips with years back. Simply because I gave my 50 cent to buy people. And when we got the views, they didn't have cushions on. And I thought that they had misused the money. And it was Back in the South by 16. And God revealed this to me in about 1998. That they didn't achieve the money. That they bought the most expensive view that they had, that they made them, or they saw the real view. And God let me know one thing. He said, Don't bring your key up, don't worry about it. You're not a coward. So just pick it up. I'm in the home. Because if you get it, thinking about what they're going to do with it, they're going to use it right. You just cutting off your blessing. Cut it off, and you cannot praise the Lord. Waiting down, thinking about what you need. The person. But God said that, get it. And he doesn't take the other risk. And then so when you give it, give it and praise him. Let him develop a new song in your heart. Give it and not worry about the hands. Found that. And then when we come to worship in the beauty of holiness, we have to have a clean hands and a pure heart. David said in Psalms 51, I think it he said, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me because David's heart was dirty and David's hands was dirty. Because of what he had done. He could not praise the Lord with a new song until he released it. And we cannot praise him in the beauty of holiness until we release it. And allow God to come and clean us up.
And then when that happened, we can praise him in spirit and in truth. We don't need to be coming up there just going through the motion. But God is telling us today we ought to be coming up here with new songs in our heart to praise him because when we sing, many times I don't think we understand who we sing it. But he says, sing as you sing it unto the Lord. He said, make a charge of noise unto the Lord. God wants us to be joyful when we come up here in the beauty of holiness. Don't let nobody tell you this. Make no noise in worship. You know, we've been over there in the Episcopal Church. I can't understand. You know, I just came out of it. You know, when you say amen, you know, and all that good stuff. I said, Lord, what you going to do? I've been kind of waiting now with this thing about, about, about me. But I said, Lord, that ain't working out. I'm just going to give them what you give me and get on out of the way. Bless the Lord. All my soul and all that was in me. Bless his holy name. We all give him praise. In the beauty of holiness. And the songwriters let us know. Before Jesus come back, we ought to be praising him. Because we understand when he comes. He's coming to judge the world with righteousness and with his people truth. We ought to know what the truth is all about. We ought to be praising him. I guarantee you, if you want to move the spirit, make me run over the church, you run. You don't bother me a bit. Because I will see you. Because I understand that the spirit of God, God made it. Act and read your mind. Reason why you won't act up on some of you because you don't believe him. You don't believe him. Leave it alone. We are praise him in the beauty of holiness because he is worthy. And until he come again, when he come, he still here with our new praise. In the air, in this place, we are in. Even if we are small, we are in praise. Let me remind you that I told you that we are to worship the Lord in the view of the holiness with a new song praising the Lord. Praising Him for His blessing and His experience we have had with Him. We can praise Him the talk you have had our experience with Him. Sing a new song. The Lord and the beauty of holiness for his truth. There ought to be a, a word in that Bible somewhere that sticks on you like two little posts there that you know that is true and God has worked out of the Praise you. The beauty of holiness because he have all power. We would not have the strength that we have. Praise Him. In the beauty of holiness, because Christ has imputed righteousness to us by His spirit. He had not come His death and resurrection. We wouldn't be able to praise Him. When, when we praise Him in the beauty of holiness, we must understand that he has already gotten us the victory. We don't even have to fight the battle. The battles have already been won. We don't have to. We have something to praise him for. We are a person. 
We ought to praise him because in Philippians 2, 9 and 11, he said, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and have given him a name that is above all every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should die in the heaven and on the earth and even underneath the earth and every God will yes will come things that Jesus Christ he is to the glory of God the Father. We ought to give him praise. And when we really know how to praise him in worship, we can praise him in the beauty of holiness. Because he is Jehovah Yahweh. Simply meaning he is. We ought to praise him in the beauty of holiness. Because we understand that he is Jehovah Jireh. That means that my Lord will provide. And we ought to praise him in the beauty of holiness. Because we understand that he is Jehovah Nisa. That means the Lord is my brother. We ought to praise him in the beauty of holiness. But all we understand that he is Jehovah Shalom. But me, the Lord in my peace. I can go to him in time of trouble. And he is, he will give me peace. We are to praise him in the beauty of holiness. But all he is Jehovah.